Welcome back to the channel. This is the long range Nissan Leaf here. It has the 62 kilowatt hour battery pack, but after 87,000 kilometers and four years, how healthy is that battery pack? I predicted many years ago at the four year mark, the state of health of this battery would be 90%. Am I right or the EV haters got it correct and I need to replace the battery? There's only one way to find out. Roll the intro. The main drive battery is located underneath the car. That's basically the battery that makes the wheels go round. Not to be confused with the 12 volt battery underneath the bonnet, which runs lights, radios, dash, power windows, etc. It has the 62 kilowatt hour battery pack as previously mentioned, 56 kilowatt hours storage usable, leaves a charge buffer top and bottom to protect the battery. The weight is roughly 450 kilos or 1,000 pounds in the old money. Indicative driving range is 385 kilometers in ideal conditions, but it's more like 270 to 340 kilometers in the real world. We analyzed the battery pack with an application on the iPhone called Leaf Spy. This connects to a wireless dongle that's plugged in underneath the dash. We're gonna get Kaz to lock the dongle in because she's a lot smaller than me. Can you lock the dongle in, the diagnostics port, Kaz? Yep, locked in. Marvellous. Okay, Kaz, you have Leaf Spy open. Yep. What is the state of health of the Nissan Leafs battery after four years and 87 thousand kilometers. Is it below 90%? Nope. Is it higher? Yep. How much higher? 91.42%. That is going to piss off the EV haters. They've got it wrong again. What a shame. Let's look at those stats a little bit closer, Kaz. So this drive battery has degraded a little over 8% in four years, which is pretty good for a drive battery with no active cooling capabilities. So it's only air cooled. More modern day EVs have batteries that have active cooling. So the drive battery is cooled with an internal coolant. So our drive battery has degraded by 8%. So that basically means we would have lost 30 to 35 kilometers range over four years, which is bloody good for a long range Nissan Leaf. But let's clear up some information first. EV haters would have you believe that we have to replace the battery sometime in the future. And this is absolute bullshit. Read my lips. We never, ever, ever have to replace the battery on this Nissan Leaf. Other information on this page. This EV has had 88 quick charges, which over a long time might cause heat stress and degrade the battery even faster. Also, the EV has had 493 slow charges, which is a little less stressful on the battery. The number here in the top right is the difference between the lowest and highest module voltage. In this case, it is 17 millivolts. So this drive battery is well balanced. Anything under 30 millivolts is pretty good. Let's say you had a difference of 322 millivolts, your drive battery would have big problems. So after four years, 87,000 kilometers, the drive battery is still okay. As always, if you want to follow our adventures in Yuki, the long range Nissan Leaf, follow our socials. We'll put that in the description down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you want to. Um, other than that, we will see you in the next episode.